Hi, my name is Caroline Duggan and this is a research from Nottingham Trent University as a BA politics student. My research is looked into the female dominatrix, whether it's a case of patriarchy or female liberation. The feminist approach to see the rise in female dominated pornography. The context of this research comes from Pornhub's 2019 year in review in which Femdom featured as number 10 on the list. Similarly, women have also started to claim sex work as a very prominent profession by going through methods such as OnlyFans and other amateur porn sites. The methodology of this research. The aim is to look at how young feminists view female dominatrix and BDSM as a porn category. Also, how they feel about these images featuring on Instagram for people to see publicly. The research is further contrasted with liberal, radical and postmodern feminist views in the completed form of paper. The method I chose for this research was qualitative data through a questionnaire. The questionnaire is composed of 15 images, three of which are related to the images featured on the right. The key findings of this research is overall incredibly sex positive, which I as a researcher really did not expect. 41 of 48 people still believe that women are submissive to men's society. However, many argued that this came from the media's influence. 40 of 48 people suggested that similarly porn repeated the same pattern, men are dominant and women are submissive. However, within this, six people highlighted the growing change of perceptions within pornography. 31 of 48 people also suggested the Instagram images presented within my research could be educational. Furthermore, many suggested that if they came with explanations or links, they could be very useful to people beginning BDSM or female domination. 40 of 48 people also suggested that Instagram images are empowering, especially if the women involved empower themselves. As a result, this leads me as a researcher to conclude that a lot of feminism is holistic and a lot of the feeling of empowerment all comes together. So if one woman's empowered through sex, pornography and BDSM, that is fantastic. Other feminists are also empowered by her energy. My secondary research, I looked at the Journal of Sex, which analyzed demographic data on BDSM. It argued that a lot of women practice BDSM in private. However, they were not open to practicing within public. Furthermore, many people who took part in BDSM practices have completed a higher education, which depletes the idea that this is a very underground taboo and a very shameful thing to be, because it's such a normal thing that people who have completed higher education and other forms of education could be all around us. The overall conclusion of this research was a very sex positive feminist. However, it can be argued that feminist academics do not share the same view. This is a very small research group and it's not reflective of the majority of society. It can also be seen that through feminist attitudes, women are taking control of their sexuality. This could be a rise in fifth wave feminism that comes from a rejuvenated 70s sexual empowerment. However, it's coming through pornography, social media and the rise in different gender identities. What should be questioned when going forward is how feminists do not agree fundamentally with their root of feminism and the rise in BDSM and pornography. Just because one feminist believes one thing does not mean another means the same. Overall, no school of feminism can really be associated with one concrete view because it isolates the view completely. Also, female academics and other feminist academics should really take more risks when looking into this research because in the end it does pay off and creates a very deeper form of research. This is my appendices and references. However, due to the size of my references, I could not feature all of my results on the table. Thank you for listening, and this has been Camille.